Okay, everybody. For this launch video, we really gotta come out of the gate strong. That means we need some ideas that are gonna blow people's minds. Anybody? What do you got? Oh! We can try and skydive while playing a board game. You want to jump out of a perfectly good moving plane? No, 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 <laughs> not me. I'm just saying someone could. Not it. Not me. Right here, bro. I got this. I'll do this. It'll be fun. I can do this. Uh, no, I don't think you can. Because I don't think anybody can play a tabletop board game while skydiving. It's physics. If you want the ultimate. Oh, I want the ultimate. You've got to be willing to pay the ultimate price. Did you just quote Point Break? You know Point Break? Don't do that again. Yeah, it's a bad movie. It can be done, and I'm going to do it, all right? I am going to actually do it. I got this. To the extreme! All right, not so fast, Johnny Utah. You know, I think it's super cute that you're worried about my safety. I think it's super cute that you think that's why I'm hesitating. Okay, well then what's the deal? Why not do this? Okay, this will be a big video, like you want. Okay, all right, um, let me get this straight. The bit's extreme board gaming. Right. You're gonna jump out of an airplane. Yes. And try and play a tabletop game while plummeting toward the earth. I do not like the term plummeting, but yes, that's the idea. Okay, all right, um, what game are you gonna use? I, I don't know, a scythe? Uh, Destinies, uh, how about A Feast for Odin? Have you played A Feast for Odin? No, I've actually been dying to. It sounds fun. Okay. Oh, my. Look, in any game with a board... Do you know wind shear? Yeah, I get it. Terminal velocity, Bernoulli's principle. I understand Flat factor. all that. That's not a scientific term. Okay? It will be. But look, listen. We can get all science-y, put on some lab coats, start doing experiments. Will that make you feel better about all of this? By experiments, do you mean you're going to destroy the games in the process? That is highly likely. Why don't you use Monopoly then? Great. Alexa, put on a lab coat. You're going to be helping me. Why? Because this was your idea. Fine. So long as I don't have to jump out of an airplane. By the end of this, you're probably going to want to. Nobody's going to want to. Extreme! Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe something lighter? Oh. Maybe a smaller board? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this just isn't working. What are you talking about? This is working perfectly! Wait a second. Leaf blower? Really? What? It's funny. Did it hit you in the face? Possibly. <laughs> all right, look, but it occurred to me, not all tabletop games have boards. Is that a revelation for you, or? Look, I think the best way to do this is to just do it. It's time to put it into practice. On the Mythbusters, they usually do a bunch more science and experimentation before they get right to the stupid and dangerous. Yeah, we don't need gravimetric geophysics. We just need me to jump. Right to the stupid and dangerous, huh? Little hand on the clock says it's time to rock and roll. Big hand says maybe you should practice first. Yeah, nobody pays attention to the big hand. Every Everybody pays attention to the big, that's why they call it the big hand. Come on, just let me do this, all right? It'll be a big video to launch with, come on. Okay. But I'm gonna get a stunt coordinator and a bunch of safety guys. To the extreme? <sighs> to the extreme! So I saw this movie the other night, you ever seen Dread? Oh, yeah. The villain at the very end of the film plummets thousands of feet to her death in slow motion. What happens to the body when it hits the ground at 120 nothing miles good, an hour? Nothing good, nothing good. Hey, did you also know that one in every 200 parachutes, you open it up and it's just lunch? Oh. 
It just it falls about, out. You like the cartoons. You've seen it in cartoons. Oh, it's just, yeah. Well, it's just a right. sandwich and a banana. Yeah. yeah. Today, we're at Skydive Elsinore. A beautiful lake. Elsinore. <laughs> Everything is a game. Wait, where did you find that? Walgreens. We are here so that I can prove to this guy that I can play a tabletop game while skydiving. Which I still think is a terrible idea. What game are you gonna use? Bop it. <laughs> Bop it! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You should be playing against someone though, right? To make it a real game? Alexa, it's your last chance. Nope, nope, and no. Okay, well then I'm gonna play against my tandem partner. Are you sure he's gonna be okay with that? He said as long as I don't puke, it's a-okay. So like 50-50. To the plane! To the ground! Getting ready for the big jump? Yeah. Nice. You wanna go with me? Yeah, why not? Wait, are you serious? You, you, you would go skydiving? Yeah, I'll go skydiving. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. That's awesome, then uh, get on a jumpsuit. Okay, I will. <laughs> We're gonna look like twins. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. All right, I'll see you there. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. This is, this is real. I'm not jumping. What? I'm not jumping. You're not jumping. No, because I will die. You people die all the time. They know. People die. And if you don't die, you're going to break your legs when you land. And your arms. You're going to break your whole face. And these are our money makers. And I know that you're old. You're really old. But you have a good looking face. Thanks. I guess. It's okay, man. Just send the wave or we'll be fine. They have to say that legally. You are going to die. And I'm not, because I'm not gonna jump. I'm gonna live, he knows, we're living. You're dying, sorry. All right, man. Because you actually played Bop It while skydiving, I got a special surprise for you. I brought in the creator of the Bop It, Dan Klitzer. Come on in, Dan. Wow, congratulations. I've always wanted to see someone do that. I've never heard of anyone skydiving with a Bop It. I just, I just have one question. When it was time to pull the chute, did it say Bop It, Twist It, or yeah. Pull It? <laughs> it's a Bop It joke from Dan Klitzer. Hold on, in the time that I was up there, you brought in Dan Klitzner? 
<laughs> oh yeah, I'm resourceful. He kind of kidnapped me. You have to admit it, I did it. I played a tabletop game while skydiving. He did, I gotta admit that. Uh, you know, Bop, it's not a tabletop game. It's a handheld electronic talking game, the first of its kind. Very proud of that. I guess you got a point there. That, that is the beauty of the Bop, it. you can play it wherever. I mean, I didn't say that. That's Dan Klitzner, creator of the Bop It. You're out. Not a tabletop. Not a tabletop game. game. That's gotta hurt. That's the beauty of it. So, I got one more idea. Oh yeah? One more idea. All right. I got another idea. Okay. Calling Uno and playing my last card. All right. I win. Yes. No. Well, you know. I mean, did you win though? Like, you fell from the sky. You jumped from a plane. You lost yeah. pretty much all your cards except for one. Right. But did you play the game? Exactly. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not dead. Life has a sick sense of humor, doesn't it? Stop quoting Point Break. Yeah, you lost. But you may be the first person to parachute from an airplane and play Bop It. So. Here's a medal. Oh! oh. A participation award! Oh. Well, let's call it a golden bop it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> failed Uno, but you won bop it. Yeah. So I win. You won. You bopped it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that's weird. Let me get a drink. Oh. 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 I remember my first time playing bop it. <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Travis, Leaf, and the rest of us at Above Board hope you enjoyed the video. But, you know, whether you did or not, you should probably click the like button and also subscribe to our channel. That would be a very good thing to do. A really, really, really good thing to do. Really good. We'll wait. Okay, I don't know if you've done it already or if you need more time, so I'll just wait some more. Well, I think that's enough. Thanks again for everything. Have a lovely day.